Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another Batman Villains video. This is part two. Um, this video doesn't have as many as the last video, but it's still pretty cool. So here we go. Let's check this out right here. Let's move this up just a little bit. Batman Shadow of the Bat. It's got the bag over it and all that stuff. This is one of the books that came with a bag and I think, a, well, I'd have to take it out with a card and all that stuff one of those gimmicky things but anyway uh, Batman Shadow of the Bat number one this is the first appearance of Victor Zaz Batman 318 this is the first appearance of Firebug um, I think the significance about this character for me is I believe Firebug was the first villain you fought in the NES Batman game, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. So here he is, makes his debut in Batman 318. Here's another one. Detective Comics 311, the first appearance of Catman. Um, I don't really know too much about this character. I know he showed up here and there I don't know how big of a villain he is today but if you're looking to fill in some gaps Detective Comics 311 should do nicely this is a minor villain from the uh, Silver Age uh, Detective Comics 345 this is the first appearance of Blockbuster so Another character that's you know, not really considered one of the big ones, but still pretty cool. Here we have another one. I didn't even know of the, about this character until the Batman Arkham City game. This is Detective Comics 259, the first appearance of the Calendar Man. Um, I thought he was pretty creepy in the video game. A little different than his, uh, his first appearance here, but still... Not a bad one to have. I don't think it's that expensive to get, you know. Now, I don't have the first appearance of Catwoman, but I have her Silver Age appearance. Um, I wouldn't say that that's the next best thing because it certainly isn't. But for those of you that are trying to get all the Silver Age appearances of these Batman villains, um, Lois Lane, uh, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 70, is, uh, is one of them. First Silver Age, Catwoman. Here we go. Batman number 63. This is the first appearance of Killer Moth. Detective Comics 184. The first appearance of Firefly. Now I know there were a couple Fireflies. I think he, another one was Batman. Oh, I don't know, 123, 126, whatever it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. But uh, this is his actual true first appearance, and it was in Detective uh, 184. Here's a recognizable one, right? Batman 181, first appearance of Poison Ivy. If you get this book, make sure it has the pinup. It says right here, double page pinup of Batman and Robin. Make sure it's included, for it is a green label. <laughs> the dreaded green label. <laughs> Last two. Uh, Batman 189, uh, the first Silver Age appearance of the Scarecrow. Scarecrow only made two appearances in the Silver Age. This is his third appearance. Uh, his first two appearances are um, obviously more valuable. His second appearance, I think, I've said it before in many videos, I think is a little more coveted because of the cover. Unfortunately, I don't have that one, uh, not yet at least. But for those of you who are looking to fill in the Silver Age gaps, we had the Silver Age Penguin, I believe, in the last video. And we had the Silver Age appearance of Catwoman in this one. Well, here's another Silver Age appearance for you. Batman 189. Cool Infantino cover. And the last one for this video... If you don't want the Silver Age one, you're like, eh, I don't want that crap. Try to get this one. World's Finest Comics number three. This is the first appearance of the Scarecrow. Like I said, he made two appearances. He's like the Riddler. He made 
two appearances in the Golden Age, and that was it. And then he appeared again in the mid-60s, uh, which was the issue I just shown, shown you all. Here we have, um, eh, I think it's a well-known cover, not necessarily one of my fa favorites, but World's Finest Comics number three, first appearance of the Scarecrow. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll have another one of these videos out soon. Take care.